Is crypto still in a bear market? Are the four-year cycles holding up? Or are we witnessing a shift with cycles lengthening? Welcome back to Finance Homefront. I'm Bev. And we've been seeing a lot of these questions on the comment section lately. And we're here to break it down for you. But before we do, let's get a couple things straight. This isn't financial advice. Consider it more like a crypto compass pointing you in the right direction. Our insights are drawn from historical data of cryptos, stocks, interest rates, and other market indicators, so make sure to stay till the end of the video. But, and it's a big but, the past doesn't always script the future. The roller coaster ride of unprecedented price action we've witnessed across various markets in recent years is living proof of that. Ready? Let's roll. What's different this time around? Well, it seems we're stepping into a phase of higher inflation. Why? Blame it on a mix of deglobalization and onshoring. Now, if this holds true, central banks might keep interest rates up for a longer stretch. What does that mean for the crypto game? Less of that wild speculative investing we've seen before. Say goodbye to FOMO and welcome a more grounded scene with slow and steady gains becoming the norm. And if you haven't noticed, crypto might have some competition. Government bonds giving proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies a run for their money. Why risk your investment in crypto for a 4% interest rate when you could play it safe with a bond? But hey, every cloud's got a silver lining. In a higher inflation setup, there's a spike in demand for inflation hedges. Guess who falls under that category? Good old BTC. Hold up though. All this assumes we're actually entering a phase of higher inflation and interest rates. Maybe, just maybe, that might not be the case. If that's true, brace yourself for a crypto cycle that looks pretty familiar. Tons of FOMO and 100x cryptos becoming the norm. Let's hit pause for a moment and ponder this. Do you think the bond market is trying to tell us something about the future of stocks in crypto? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get a discussion going. And hey, if you're finding this breakdown useful and want more insights from Finance Homefront, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. Your support keeps this financial journey rolling, and we're excited to have you with us. Ready for more? Let's dive back into the action. Now let's tie all this together and answer the question from earlier. Is the four-year cycle still in play? Quick context. Crypto usually follows a cycle linked to the Bitcoin halving, which happens every four years. The first half is a bull market. The second is a bear market. The last Bitcoin halving? That was in May 2020. And crypto prices went bonkers for the next year and a half. Look at the total crypto market cap. And you might say the previous bull markets technically rolled until May 2022 when things took a downturn. So logically, the crypto bear market began last spring. If that holds water, we're just over a year into the bear market, with another 7 or 8 months to go. Oh, and guess what? The next Bitcoin halving is on the horizon, expected sometime next spring about seven to eight months away. Now the million dollar question, is the bottom in? For Bitcoin, yeah, probably. See, Bitcoin's price tends to hit rock bottom after a year after the previous cycle's peak, with Bitcoin hitting an all-time high of over 69K in November 2021 and dipping to around 15K in November last year. It fits the pattern. But, and there's always a but, it doesn't mean Bitcoin couldn't crash again or revisit those November lows. Remember March 2020? Bitcoin dropped to 3k due to pandemic market panic. Something similar could unfold for different reasons in the coming months. Now the assumption here is that the 4-year cycle is still ticking. But here's the catch. It's not a guaranteed bet. Why? Well, market cycles tend to stretch out when more people get into the game. 
and there's no denying that crypto has seen a ton of new players in recent years. But the absence of clear crypto rules in major places like the United States makes it trickier for institutions to jump on the crypto train. The lack of these rules might just be the reason why this crypto cycle will drag on. See, until we get proper regulations in place, crypto won't see the influx it needs to hit those sky-high values. The US might not sort out its crypto regulations until after the 2024 election. Realistically, we might be waiting until early 2025 for things to get moving. While the EU did pass a significant crypto bill, it won't fully kick in for another year or two. And there are talks about adding more rules, especially for certain crypto areas like DeFi. Now, the big question, is crypto in a bull or bear market? Frankly, no one really knows. Add the fact that it's only been a year and a bit since the crypto bear market started. And you could argue we're still in it, even though the light at the end of the tunnel is in sight. Here's the good news. We're getting close to the end. But brace yourself for a bit of bad news. Crypto prices might still dip before we're in the clear. The wild card here is what's happening with other assets like stocks, bonds, and the US dollar. Quick tip, crypto tends to follow the same cycle as stocks, especially tech stocks. Now, tech stocks have been on a roll since last October, likely boosting the crypto rally. But, and it's another but, the recent break in this correlation is probably thanks to, you guessed it, regulation. Institutions aren't fully comfy diving directly into crypto despite reportedly being bullish on it. Now let's talk bonds and the US dollar. Bonds have been on a bit of roller coaster since 2020, pushing up long-term interest rates. And when these rates climb, the US dollar usually follows suit. Higher US dollar? That often means money is flowing out of other assets, like crypto, and into the US dollar. Bonds, unlike many other assets, haven't made a big comeback yet. Hedge funds and billionaires are betting big against them. Now, from a different perspective, this could signal an upcoming rally. Though, here's the scary part. Bonds tend to surge when other markets are taking a nosedive. So if bonds are gearing up for a rally, it might be a red flag that market turbulence is on the horizon. Translation, stocks might be gearing up for a crash, and that could drag crypto along for the ride. The expected chaos or volatility in both stocks and crypto has dropped quite a bit lately. It's like everyone's betting that bonds will keep going down. When folks expect volatility to stay low, it's often a sign that the opposite is brewing. If you enjoyed navigating these insights with us, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Finance Homefront for more illuminating discussions and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. We thrive on your engagement and can't wait to continue exploring the ins and outs of the financial world together.